Hi there and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we're we'll looking at the concept of thermal expansivity in physics. Now, first things first, let's do a definition. What is thermal expansivity? Now, if we consider the topic there, thermal expansivity, there are two key words there. The key word there is thermal or thermal or when you hear the word thermal, what comes to mind is heat. So the word thermal is related to heat and the term expansivity or expansion has to do with an increase in the size of an object. All right. So thermal deals with heat and expansivity or expansion deals with the increase or an increase in the size of an object. So simply, we can define thermal expansivity as an increase is in the size of an object due to the application of heat. All right. So the concept of thermal expansivity simply means that objects expand or increases in size due to the addition of heat or when heat is applied to an object especially things like metal they tend to increase in size that's what we call thermal expansivity under thermal expansivity we'll be dealing with three kinds of expansivity the first one the first one is linear expansivity the second one is called the area or superficial expansivity and the third one is called the volume or the volumetric or the cubic expansivity let's take them one after the other so the first one linear expansivity this man is alpha the second one is called the area slash superficial expansivity. This is beta. And the third one is volume or cubic expansivity that is gamma all right so these are the three kinds of thermal expansivity let's start with the first one there number one linear expansivity all right so what exactly is linear expansivity by definition linear expansivity is simply the increase in length per unit length per degree rise in temperature all right so when the length of an object increases on application of um, heat or on on increase of temperature we said um, linear expansivity has occurred all right linear expansivity is represented by the Greek symbol this which is alpha okay so this is called alpha all right so alpha is the Greek symbol that we use to represent linear expansivity. And mathematically, linear expansivity alpha is equal to increase, increase in length all over original length times increase in temperature all right so this is your mathematical expression um so alpha is equal to increase in length is also called change in length all over original length is called l1 into increase in temperature is called change in temperature if i write this in full this will be equal to l2 minus l1 all over this becomes l1 into change in temperature is c2 minus c1 so this is the formula for linear expansivity all right um, let's get what's the si units first things first this is equal to change in length length is in meter all over 
L1, initial length, also in meter, temperature here is in Kelvin, all right? From here, um, Kelvin or Celsius depends on which they choose to use. In Kelvin, from here, this cancels this, and that's equal to 1 all over Kelvin, and that's equal to Q to the power 1. So the SI units, the SI units of linear expansivity is per Kelvin. K to the power 1 is called per Kelvin. All right. Let's define terms. L2 is called the final length. That's L2. L2 is final length. Of course, in meters. L1 is initial initial length in meters um we have this one here t2 t2 is equal to final temperature temperature is measured in kelvin in k and then t1 is initial initial temperature in kelvin initial temperature in kelvin so i have this all right so this is um, basically the concept of linear expansivity i will take some few problems and solve um, some problems involving linear expansivity all right so let's look at the first question on linear expansivity this one says a copper rod whose length at 30 degrees celsius is 10.0 meter is heated to 50 degrees Celsius. Find its new length. Take alpha, that's linear expansivity for copper, as 0 0.000017 per Kelvin. All right, so solution. Solution. Uh, let's list our parameter number one. Given parameter number one, we said a copper whose length at 30 degrees Celsius. So T1 is equal to 30 degrees Celsius. But we said temperature is in Kelvin. So I'll convert this to Kelvin by adding 273. Becomes 30 plus 273. That's equal to 303 Kelvin. So this is how you convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin. Add 273. That gives you 303 Kelvin. Number two, they said whose length at this temperature is 10.0 meters. So L1, the initial length, is equal to 10.0, which is same as 10 meters. It's in meters. I'm not converting. Number three, they said it's heated to 50 degrees Celsius. So the second temperature there, T2, is 50 degrees Celsius. And that's equal to 50 plus... 273. So if I add 50 to 273, I have 323 Kelvin as my answer. So 323 Kelvin as my answer. So if you find the new length, so L2 number 4, new length L2 is unknown. They gave us number 5, the linear expansivity. Number five, we're giving linear expansivity alpha as being equal to uh, 0. 0.0.1234. 0. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.00017 per Kelvin. So I have this. All right, we are asked to find L2. Let's recall formula. Recall formula that alpha is equal to, I have. L2 minus L1 all over L1 into C2 minus C1. So I have this. Uh, first and first, we can choose to make L2 to be the subject of the formula. That will simply be all over 1. So this times 1 becomes L2 minus L1. So L2 minus L1 times 1 gives you L2 minus L1 is equal to this times this becomes alpha into L1 into T2 minus T1. Impute values, I'll have that. So move L1 over here. It means that L2 
is equal to this one here alpha l1 into t2 minus t1 into minus l1 comes and becomes plus l1 so i have plus l1 all right so substitute values let me substitute substitute values what do i have there i will have that l2 is equal to alpha alpha is uh, this okay zero point five is this one here that's zero point one two three four one seven into l1 l1 is 10 so into 10 into t2 minus t1 t2 is um 323 so 323 minus t1 that's 303 plus l1 l1 is 10 so plus 10 so i have this plus 10 work on this we'll have that l2 is equal to let's multiply this uh so i get my calculator okay so i have what there 0 0.000017 times 10 uh, okay so this one here should be 0 0.12317 this times 10 gives you this into 323 minus 303 should give you 20 and then plus 10 okay this plus 10 comes down here and that's equal to so this value times 20 that's about 0 0.0034 so i have this then this plus 10 so l2 is equal to add this to 10 gives you 10.0034 of course l is in meters so this meters so that's the answer so this is the value for l2 the original length all right so this is how we solve this problem all right so this is how we solve pr this problem on linear expansivity let's take a second example and look at this all right let's look at the second example on linear expansivity so this question says a copper rod this question says a metal of length 15.01 meter is heated until its temperature rises by 60 degrees Celsius. If its new length is 15.05 meter, calculate the linear expansivity. All right, as usual, solution, first things first, list out given parameters. So what and what am I given there? So given number one, it said, a meter of length, 15.01 meter. So original length number one is equal to 15.01 meter. Next to the said is heated until its temperature rises by number two the said the temperature rises by 60 degrees Celsius. Now when you hear something like temperature rises by, would that be a final temperature or an initial temperature? Think about it. All right. So do you think it's a final temperature or an initial temperature? So for this case, it's not a final temperature. It's not an initial temperature. It is the change in temperature. Now look at this. Let's say we have an initial temperature, T1, as equal to 2 degrees Celsius, and a final temperature, T2, equal to 5 degrees Celsius. Question is this. By what amount has this temperature risen? So the temperature moved from 2 degrees Celsius to 5 degrees Celsius. That's plus 3 degrees Celsius. That means this temperature has increased by what there? 3 degrees Celsius. So when they say the temperature rises by 60 degrees Celsius, I got 3 by doing 5 minus 2, which is what there? T2, 5 minus 2 t1 and we said t2 minus t1 is what there change in temperature 
So they say temperature rises by 60 degrees Celsius. That becomes what there? Your change in temperature. So take note. That means number two, I'm given the change in temperature as equal to the value here is 60 degrees Celsius. So 60 degrees Celsius. So I have this. Okay. They said if the new length, number three, new length L2 is equal to 15.05 meters. All right. Take cal calculate this linear expansivity. So linear expansivity is unknown. All right, let's get this solved. So how do we solve this? Um, so first is first. Let's recall formula. Recall that linear expansivity is equal to L2 minus L1 all over L1 into change in temperature. I have this. So, imputing values, alpha is equal to, L2 is this, 15.05 minus L1. L1 is this, 15.01 all over L1. L1 is this, 15.01 into change in temperature, that's 60 degrees. Okay, let's convert this to Kelvin. So 60 degrees convert to Kelvin. So T is equal to 60 degrees Celsius. Not just T, but change in T. So convert it to Kelvin at 273. So 273 plus 60, that's equal to um, 333 Kelvin. So if we add that one up, you have 333 Kelvin. So into change in temperature becomes 333. 3 Kelvin. So I'm having 3, 3, 3. This is equal to subtract values. This minus this gives you 0 0.04. Okay. All over, I'm having 15.01 into 333. 3, 3. Okay. 333. 3, 3. And that's equal to, this gives you 0 0.04. All over multiply denominator so I'll get my calculator 15.01 times 333 that gives you 4998.33 so alpha linear expansivity is equal to 0.04 divided by 4998.33 that's about 0 0.12345, 12345, then 8 per Kelvin. All right, so this is the value of the linear expansivity. So this is how we solve this problem, all right? All right, so in the next class, we'll look at the concept of area expansivity as well as volume or cubic expansivity, all right? So you can get the full lecture of area expansivity, volume of expansivity, and how two of them, that's area and volume, relate to linear expansivity. The full lecture is on my website. Simply visit www.jonahimani.com forward slash courses, and then look at the jam slash um, wire classes, all right? Register, register an account to the website, and you see jam slash wire classes, all right? You can now make an order on that course, and then you have access to over 100 tutorial videos on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other sciences, all right, including the completion of this, all right? So get to my website. Thank you, and see you in the next class. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next class.